Good morning. Welcome to What For. This is February the 23rd, Saturday, 2019. And I am Stephen Bowman. Thank you for joining us today. It's, uh, it's another wonderful day. About 10 years ago, my wife and I, uh, well, we had been wanting a, a bedroom suit for many years. We had, uh, you know, we had hand-me-downs, used stuff all of our life. But we uh, started saving up because we found this um, bedroom suit we really liked. And it was um, what they call a sleigh bed. And so uh, it was special to us. I mean, it was really the first new, it was the only new bedroom suit we'd ever bought. And so uh, we were proud of it and stuff. But um, our granddaughter... Um, you know, my wife watched, has watched all of our grandchildren, and it's a blessing. But uh, when she was a toddler and teething, we had laid her, you know, on that bed to take her nap. And uh, one day, you know, uh, my wife said, hey, you won't believe what happened. You know, it looks like a, a beaver <laughs> got a hold of our sleigh bed. And... Uh, yeah, sure enough, there was like these these gnaw marks around the, the footboard, just like a beaver had gotten a hold of it. And uh, our granddaughter was teething, and uh, she was uh, strengthening her teeth. <laughs> you know, our first reaction was not was not feelings of happiness or um, excitement. It was uh, it was frustrating, and and, and uh, of course we didn't blame her, but you know we just we just didn't like that situation. But I gotta tell you, that's what I love most about that bedroom suit now is looking down uh, at those gnaw marks, knowing that we have a grandchild that's healthy, plenty of teeth, <laughs> and I love it. I, I, I'm so I'm so grateful. You know, the bed still sleeps the same. It doesn't affect it. It was just, it was just us wanting that, you know, perfection and that, that beauty of that, that, that peace. Well, the reason I'm reminded of this story is because this past week, there was a scratching in the wall. I mean, all night long. <laughs> could not sleep. Every time I went to sleep, it would start that noise. It was right next to the bed. So I had to make a hard decision because this had happened before, and usually about the spring, uh, something would get in the wall, uh, scratch for a few days, die, and then smell for a few weeks. So I knew we couldn't allow this to keep going on. One of the things I hate to do is mess up a good wall. <laughs> I don't even like putting pictures up because I don't like punching holes in the wall. But, uh, you know, I put my ear against there, started uh, trying to find out which cavity this critter was in. And uh, I cut my first hole, and he wasn't there. I did it again, another spot. Kind of hurt my neck trying to get down there and listen to it, actually. <laughs> kind of put a kink in it. I cut the second hole. It wasn't, he wasn't in there. So they, th they say third time's charm, and it was. I, that third hole I cut, and there he was, a scared little mouse all in the corner there by the, by the beams, just, just terrified. And, uh, you know, I got him out, and now I'm patching up. But you have to, you have to, you have to laugh about it. I mean, laughter is good medicine. It's good for you. Don't take life so seriously. You know, what's more important, uh, some patches on the wall or a good night's sleep, right? <laughs> I can tell you what's better. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to put a little access door 
there and uh, that way if another critter I think they get in through the attic and fall down inside the wall and uh, if, if it happens again I'm just gonna open the door <laughs> all right I hope you uh, can open the door to laughter uh, in, in your life don't take life quite so seriously I know there's some serious things that happen but it's really a lot of times the little things that we let kind of build up and get to us and uh, whenever whenever we, we start uh, you know dwelling on these kind of little issues in life it, it builds up and it's not good for you laugh it off God is good life is good let him take care of everything have a great weekend bye